In this video, we'll see about the topic named as arrays. Now, what exactly is an array? Array is basically a collection of all objects. Now, those objects can be of numbers or it can be an integers. It can be characters or it can be entire text. That's a word given. So it's basically a collection of all the objects, but it should be of same type and same size. When I say same type, it should be all integers, same type, it should be all the numbers or it can be all the characters. Now, how do we declare an array into our HP UFT? How do we assign some values to the array elements and how we can use it into our VB script? So let us see that. For example, I have written some code on the screen. If you see that is given as dim array of two, the name I've given as a double R. I have declared the array in the same manner. I've declared the variable. So dim a double R of two. Now, how many elements this does this array contain? This array contains total number of elements. Those are three, not two. The number is written as two, but it contains three elements. The reason is the numbering for this array starts in VB scripting from zero. So zero, one and two. So total becomes three elements. How do I assign the values for the arrays? So if you see a double R of zero equal to one. So a double R of zero becomes first element. A double R of one becomes second element and same way third element. So I'm assigning the values in the same way I assign values to my variables, right? And after that, if you see, if I want to display the values in the form of a message box, I'll use message box a double R of zero, a double R of one and a double R of two. So I've given the variable names, I mean the element names, and I want to display it in the form of a message box. So now let us see how it works. If I click on this run button and if I click on this run, now, if you see my script has come and it has stopped to this place, it says message box array of zero and the value is given as one because I have assigned some value array of zero. That is one I have assigned to that element. So I'll just click on OK. It comes to the second line. I'll click on OK and again to the third line. I'll click on OK. And finally, when it's done, I'll get the execution result. That is the I'll just expand all and I'll get the result for the entire test. I'll just close it and I'll see this. So I hope you have understood how to use arrays, how do we declare it and how do we assign values to an array in VBScript. That's all for this video.